The South American continent is bounded on the west by the Peru-Chile Trench, a subduction boundary that extends for over 4,000 miles, forming one of the world's largest active plate boundary zones. The oceanic Nazca Plate is diving beneath the continental South American Plate at a rate of about 2.5 to 3 inches per year. This subduction zone is seismically active and holds the record for having the largest magnitude earthquake ever recorded. The Great Chilean Earthquake of 1960 was a magnitude 9.5. A magnitude 8.8 .8 also rocked the continent in 2010. Let's go below the ground to look at the generalized subduction zone processes. Here we see the oceanic plate diving beneath the continental plate. Because of high friction between the plates, they become locked and the overlying plate gets forced backwards and a wedge forms at the trench. Under great strain, the continental plate deforms, building elastic energy in the process. In the case of this earthquake, a tsunami was not generated by the earthquake. But eventually, the plate will rebound, causing a great earthquake and a tsunami. Now we will watch the seismic waves that travel through the Earth from this earthquake to seismic stations 30, 60, 90, and 120 degrees away from the epicenter. The cutaway of the Earth will show generalized wave paths recorded by the seismic stations. The buildings merely depict the relative motion detected only by sensitive seismic instruments at these distances. We will watch PS, PP, SS, and surface waves. Compressional P waves and shearing S waves travel a direct curved path through the mantle. PP and SS waves are P and S waves respectively that bounce off the Earth's surface halfway between the earthquake and the receiving seismic station. These waves are often the first to reach stations in the seismic shadow zones. The much slower surface waves travel from the earthquake in the shallow Earth's surface. They are often the most destructive due to their rolling nature. This graph shows real seismograms collected from stations at these distances. Here is a seismogram from this earthquake, collected from a station in Portland, Oregon, approximately 75 degrees away.